Today we have been called to a mission to break some nitro type myths. And first up, we need to see if it is possible to get zero XP. Well, there are five different things that play into how much XP you gain during a race. Number one is placement. There are five racers, so the last place that possible that we can get is fifth place. So we are already, we've already achieved that. Second though, is typing speed, which is why I'm typing slower than a sloth's mom. <laughs> Thirdly is accuracy. Now thankfully, it bases the accuracy on 96% or higher. So as long as we're below that 96%, you should get zero. The fourth thing that plays into how much XP you get is the session races. Now they have a really nice feature where if you get to 10 races per session, you will automatically start getting some XP. So even if you're the worst player ever, you can still gain some XP as long as you make it to 10 races. So this is being our first race, we secured zero XP. The last thing that plays into how much XP you are able to get in a single race is racing with friends, which is kind of weird, like, weird thing wouldn't expect that but if you race with friends I think you get XP as well now I will say being a gold member also just automatically gives you XP I believe so for this challenge this myth we're not including that into the into the total XP you'll see what I mean at the end but let's finish this race I know we're at three words per minute so speed this up and get to the end right okay we'll be right back I I got disqualified <laughs> All right, we're sitting at around 15 words per minute. I couldn't get myself to go that slow again. So we're about to see what amount of XP we get, if any, being this low. Okay, here we go. We got fifth place. We were below that 96% threshold. Oh my gosh. All right, so you see here on the right side, without the nitro type goal, we take that out of the equation, you still get 400 XP just for getting fifth place, just for finishing the race. On top of that, it gives you double, it looks like it gives you double what your words per minute was. So you literally have to get zero words per minute to get zero in that category. So it turns out that getting zero XP is a myth. It is impossible. All right, the next challenge we need to figure out is if a Nitro, oh, we have the Wampus in our game. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Okay, uh, the myth is if a Nitro uh, affects your words per minute. So we're gonna get to the end of the race and we're, we're gonna see. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I, I can actually type correctly. Why am I, like, purposely messing up? Oh, yeah, get dusted. Oh, let's go. This is what this is what happens when you type so slow the first game, and then the next game is just good. Okay, so here we go. We're at 67, 65, if I, 62, 59. Okay, I actually don't know. We might have to run it again. That case, it looked like it did actually affect our worst per minute, but we're going to race again and see. Okay, we're at, like, 77, 78. Oh, I didn't even use a nitro. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, I don't think it affects it. I do have one test that we can run and it's related to the next myth. So let's jump to that and we'll get the answer. All right, so now this next myth is whether or not it is even possible to go zero words per minute in Nitrotype. And if you didn't check out my video where I tried to do it, check that out first. But now I did say in that video that if you were able to do it post proof, I would give you a bunch of Nitrotype gold and someone did it. We have XRP. So here we go. We have two letters left. He's hovering around the one to two words per minute. He's waiting for it to go to one to type the next letter. And it's close. He's got the one. He clicks it. He's got the space. And watch what he does. This is genius. I never even thought about it. Yup. Boom. There it is. He uses a nitro on the last word. Honestly, genius. I think I could have done that in my video. I just didn't think about it. But that's a two for wonder. One, it is possible to go zero words per minute. And two, it doesn't seem like a nitro affects your words per minute. All right, this next one should be pretty easy, but is it possible to backspace if you make a mistake? So let's make a mistake. No, I'm hitting the backspace, no. Now, does it count as a race if you back out of the race halfway through? We're gonna go race, back out before the end of the race, and we're gonna see if it counts it or not. Okay, we are definitely further than halfway through, so we're gonna back out of the race, Go back to our garage, let the race finish, and let's see if it counted it as a race or not. I don't know if it does or not. I don't, my intuition is it's gonna be a no, but we're gonna see. It does not, that is a myth. Right, does your car affect your races or even your speed? We're gonna try to pick the slowest car 
that I have in my garage, which I, I don't even know what it's gonna be, but let me, what's gonna be, what's gonna be just the slowest? I mean, I'm looking at this thing, like this thing cannot go faster than 15 miles per hour. Like 15 would be pushing it. So let's race with this car and let's see <laughs> if it affects our racing. I feel like you already know the answer to this. We're just gonna race anyway. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, a little bit rough, but it's fine. We got the job done. 92 hours per minute, I don't think it affects it. That's a myth. Now, does racing your friends make the games easier? While we wait though, another myth that we're gonna uncover here is if I can beat someone who is way faster than me at typing, or if someone who is way slower than me can beat me at typing. I think we start this race, I don't think that there's too many people on right now, so let's get this going. Let's see if a friend's race is harder or easier than a normal race. Not doing too good uh, uh, already. It's a long paragraph, man. <laughs> okay, 85 words per minute. I I gotta say that was about the same level as a normal race. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so we have someone who went 122 words per minute, and the second place was 38 words per minute, which means that that is true. Someone who is slower than me can beat me, as, as long as it's a friend race. Now the next goal though, the next one, is to see if I can beat someone who has a way higher words per minute than me. That's the goal. Let's see if we can do it. It's gonna be tough, but we'll give it a go. Kinda went off. Kinda went off. 90 words per minute, let's go, let's go! We beat someone with a higher words per minute, which means we mark that one as true as well. Now in terms of if friend races are harder or easier, I'm not really sure, I think it's about the same. If anything, it's more competitive though, so mark that, it's more competitive. Okay, and as we get into this next race, there are a few myths that are kind of up in the air and you can't really get a clean result by just running a race, but does cheating or hacking guarantee you more wins and no that is a immediate no the admins of nitrotype are very consistent and good at finding these hackers and banning them so if you somehow are able to just know your days are limited all right and now a common myth is only kids can play Nitrotype, and come on, that is just not true. You know, granted, maybe this game is primarily meant for kids and, and you know, kids in school, teachers, things of that nature, but I know a fair amount of people who are older, so yeah, it is a myth that only kids play Nitrotype. Other people play Nitrotype. All right, and this is a big one. Does Nitrotype Gold, having the gold membership, improve your performance? In other words, is it pay to win? Now, I will say most of my life, most of my videos that I've made have been without the Nitroshot Gold. And I will say, while there is no difference on if you have it or not in terms of typing, I will say Nitrotype does, the website, does run a decent amount of ads. And so if you do have a slower computer, it will lag. And I will say I have run into that problem many times when I'm recording a video. And so yeah, I do say that it kind of does alter performance because of the lag. Now, if you have a good computer, it's probably different. But I'm gonna say, if you have Nitrotype Gold, you will be more consistent because there is no lag. Now, do the fastest typers always win? And does having a win streak or getting multiple wins increase the, the difficulty of your upcoming races and competitors? And no, the fastest typer doesn't always win. While his top speed is 98 words per minute, my top speed is 117, and my average, like, global, is like 95. So technically, I should have won that race, but it is all up to how I type in that race. But now, what we have to do is get on a win streak to see if it makes our games harder or not. Oh man, 
I mean, that wasn't even close. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, see these racers now? They look sweaty. They do low key, like they got some actual skins on. Okay, I gotta focus up. So while I will say I don't know that the competition gets better, I don't think that getting a win streak will make your games harder in competition. I will say I think it gives you harder paragraphs and things to type, longer paragraphs, the more you start doing better. All right, is it possible to max out your garage? Down here, I have I have 20, 21 spots left to fill what looks like my garage. Can we max it out or does it just keep going? There are a lot of cars that I don't have. Here's one, four leaf Rover. Bang, add that to the, to the garage. Bang, add that to the garage. All right, add the unicorn car. Boom, added. Added, 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 added. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's a cyber truck in here. Seven. That's kind of crazy. That should be eight, nine. This should be the last car we are technically able to buy. So, the Liberty S7. Can we buy this car? Will it let us? It will. Hold on. Let's go back to our garage. Let's see. Okay, so it turns out to be a myth. You can't max out your garage as far as I know. It's just gonna keep adding slots. All right, and now does the keyboard affect your racing? We have this clicky keyboard. It is awful. We're gonna plug it in and see if it affects my racing. Oh gosh. Okay. Here we go. Nope. These images that... Oh, it's, it's clicky. I'm kind of going crazy with it though. Okay, I messed up. Okay, while it does affect your typing, that is definitely true. It might make it better or worse depending on what keyboard you have. So I would recommend finding a, uh, finding a keyboard that you like because that'll definitely affect your typing in a good or bad way. Now, the next one is, does typing fast guarantee you rewards and cars and things like that or can you get them based on just grinding the game typing race by race and the answer to that is no it doesn't you do not have to type fast to get rewards and cars it is based on xp and it's based on the nitro cash you get from those earnings can you only play nitro type on a computer or is it possible to play it on your mobile device? We're gonna see right here. Let's type in Nitro Type. Okay, it's there. The website is there. No way! You can play it on... Okay, can I play now? I just wanna play a race. Is it gonna let me... Can I text? Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, the screen is insanely small. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit difficult for me to see. Okay, the... Oh dear, I already messed up. The quick? No, wait! Okay, I'm bad at typing. That's what that's what that is. Jumps. Guys, what? The lazy dog. Alright, that was a little bit difficult. But you can't play Nitro Type on a phone! You already know what we have to do. We have to make a video typing on Nitro Type to see how fast I can type. Text. Text. Okay, the next myth that we have to bust, or whatever, uh, is does typing faster cause more mistakes? So we're gonna purposely try to f type as fast as we can. Okay, that was a lot of focus for me. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I will say, I think, I think typing faster or trying to type faster leads to more mistakes. I definitely caught myself making mistakes, but because I was trying to type so fast, I had to go back and then it, it was bad. But on the other hand, does typing too slow also cause mistakes or errors? If I just type slower, you know, if I, let's say I was going for a 100% accuracy, does it lead to more mistakes? Because you're overthinking it maybe. Okay, so no, I don't think typing slower leads to more mistakes, but I will say I started to think about where I was actually typing a little bit more, which usually is just muscle memory. So that was a little weird, but we got 100% accuracy with 35 words per minute, so that myth is busted. All right, does perfect posture lead to better races or faster typing? So we got the both feet on the ground, we're sitting straight up, and we've already made mistakes.
Ooh, I don't know. I kind of started getting in a groove. Let's run it one more time. Perfect posture, sitting straight up. You, you know what, guys? I actually do think po perfect posture is, is sort of helping my my races. Uh, we're, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna have the worst posture ever. Elbows on the knees. Uh, we're gonna type like this and see if it, if I can still do all right. I think that's the fail safe way to see. Oh, I, I'm actually typing kind of fast. Hold on. Hold on. You mean the first place? We're in first place. Very special, this is. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So the question of whether or not perfect posture helps you, um, I, I feel like it's a myth. I feel like it, whatever posture you have, uh, as long as, you know, it works for you, it might be fine. Am I weird for saying that? I don't know. What are your, what are your thoughts on that? Because I just raced almost just as well. Okay, in Nitrotype, do you need an account to race? If we log out here, are we able to play? Okay, we're back at the home page. It looks like I can play. I want to see what I can get here on the opening screen. Oh, it's always the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, what was my score with six words? 79 words per minute, but it, it looks like it does require you to make an account for that. So I will say no, you can't play Niger type without an account. You can play one race. Okay, just watching a tutorial video on how to type fast, improve your typing speed in Niger type. What's the first video? There's gotta be how to type faster, tips for every stage. Okay, perfect, this is what I need. It's like four minutes long, over hundred minutes, hundred words per minute. minute, here we go, here more. we go. Congrats. You are statistically okay, in the saying? top 1% of typers. And my last valuable tip is to start thinking of words as one stroke of keys. For example, to type person, you want to basically let your fingers touch the keyboard and in one stroke write person. Person. This might be a bit overwhelming to you, what? but you can start slower. For example, by thinking of words as syllables. Huh? Per son. Typing one word as like a single stroke, so. How's that? Since mistakes really weigh you down in the long run, this is something I'm trying mm, okay, to Okay, that's practice. a good tip. Mistakes slow you down a lot. So accuracy is really more important than just typing fast. We're gonna go into a race and we're gonna just try to type more accurate. And then we'll see if our typing gets a little bit better. So I'm, I'm turning off a little bit slower here. I can definitely see that helping my typing a lot is just slowing it down just a little bit to make sure I get accuracy. So yeah, I think a tutorial video does help. All right, do you need to use all 10 fingers to win a race of Nitrotype? This one might be a little tough, but we're gonna go for the the fingers. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be good. I've already messed up. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're not gonna finish this race. Uh, I think it's safe to say that, yeah, you kind of do need 10 fingers, or at least most fingers, to win a race of Nitro Type. Now, does racing longer sessions guarantee better skills in typing? And to be honest, my my conclusion to that is no. I don't think it always guarantees you better typing skills. Sometimes you do just need a break, come back to it, and you'll just type better. That's what I have found. So I think that is a myth. And a common myth that I get asked a lot is, oh, we have the Wampus. Crap, no, 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 no. Okay, while explaining the myth, we gotta, we gotta beat the Wampus. Is Nitrotype a real game? This is actually really fitting for, for this. I have to skip that. I don't know how to type a hyphen. Oh, this is stressful. Is Nitrotype a real game? Yes, it definitely is because one, it's, um, uh, exciting. Uh, ex uh it's, 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 com it's competitive. It's stressful, and it helps you learn uh, more skills. Like, oh, let's go, I beat the Wampus. It helps you learn useful skills. It's competitive, it's fun, it's engaging, it's entertaining. So yes, Nitrotype is a real game. And finally, for the last myth, is it possible to tie in a race? Yes, I did get a haircut. I I'm filming this like a few days later. It's fine, it's fine. I have myself on my main account, and then I have my phone account. 
and we're gonna basically enter the last like letter word at the same time and see if it ties us or not all right we're just gonna skip to the end bell okay one more word okay here we go three two one that had to have been a tie. It gave us... What? I swear I hit those at the same time. 0.04 was the difference. So it doesn't look like you can tie. Now I'm gonna give you a challenge. If you can somehow show me that you tied without any Photoshop, obviously. Like, give me a video proof. I'll send you some Nitro Tech Gold. But that's gonna be it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed. If there's other ones that you want me to discover or find out, let me know down in the comments. But stay tuned for the next video. Take care and peace.